In this video, we are going to be testing some TikTok viral products. I'm giving myself a black eye. Ah! Oh my god, ow! I got two bruises starting right on my lips. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Mm. Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be testing some TikTok viral products. We've got beauty products, we've got hair products, we got random stuff, and we even have some food products, which I am most excited about. If you're an avid TikTok viewer, you may have noticed that I am back on TikTok. <laughs> That's right. We lost the battle. I'm back on TikTok. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I don't enjoy posting on TikTok, but I'm doing it, okay? It's what the people want. The world loves TikTok. Let's get into testing these products. We're gonna start with a makeup look that got super popular on TikTok and also very popular on Pinterest. 664,000 views. Let's take a look. Wow. Rainbow eyeshadow, but not on the top, on the bottom. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I have all the makeup tools that I need, even the rhinestones. I didn't know I had these, so we're gonna put them on our face. I'm gonna take like a really light pink, super light, almost white. <laughs> I'm loving how that's looking. It's really showing up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so ugly on me. I'm giving myself a black eye. I'm just gonna paint the colors on and then I'll try and blend them out later. We're not gonna worry about that yet. Okay. <laughs> From certain angles, it looks like I haven't slept in a very long time. And honestly, if you haven't slept very well and you have dark circles, this is the makeup look. This is definitely the makeup look. Is there like a helicopter flying over the house right now? What is that noise? Like this is the difference between like blended and not blended. It does make a big difference. I think you just need to give me five hours to blend this out. One eternity later. Okay, it took me a hot minute and it's not perfect, but it turned out okay. Here's how the eye makeup's looking. It's definitely more vibrant colors. Like I wanted it to be more pastel like the inspiration, but I don't have any pastel eyeshadow because if you watch my second channel, I got rid of like 80% of my makeup. Should have kept some pastel eyeshadows, but I didn't. I am so excited for this next one. It's so ridiculous. This is called the lip gizmo. Okay, here we go. Holy crap, okay, I wasn't ready. I need level one. <laughs> All right. In my days on YouTube, I've tried a few lip plumping products. One that comes to mind that's similar to this one, I did a full length video on. Don't watch it. Don't even bother watching it. But this is kind of like that tool, but automatic. So I got it. <laughs> Based on the video, it looks like it's pretty intense. So I'm kind of scared. And I don't think that tools like this are necessary, but I know there's other people who have interest in other things, so. I'll test it out for you in case you want some plumpy lips. We'll see if this will give it to you. Okay, so here's what it looks like coming out of the box. Mine's red, but it's the same situation. We've got the plug in here. It's really weird, like looking down this. I wonder how long it needs to charge before I can use it. Longer than one second, apparently. In the meantime, let's tackle this hair. This is another one I'm so excited about. We're getting into serious viral territory now. 46 million views on this. This is the Beach Waver. It's a rotating curling iron that I invented to make it really easy for you to get gorgeous vapes. You simply place it in, tap the arrow, and you control it. And in less than 10 minutes, you can have gorgeous holiday waves. First of all, pink tree, pink decorations, pink outfit, pink hair, pink nails. Approved by me. I'm loving the consistency of the pink. So I got the exact beach waver, the limited edition pink one, because I mean, it's pink and it's cute. Honestly, I was getting to the point where I was like, I am never gonna buy another curling iron in my life. It's just not necessary. They're all becoming very similar and doing the same thing. And then this came out and I was like, okay, okay, fine. I'll, do, I'll get another one. Was $119 on sale for $99. So not too, too bad. It's still like a high-end curler, but like the Dyson 700. <laughs> so let's be honest. Okay, 
So we just clip it in there like so and then wrong way. Oh my gosh. <gasps> living my life, living my life. I love this. And then you just unclip. <gasps> How hot is my hair? Oh my gosh, it's burning hot. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little. <laughs> um, yes. Okay, you gotta grab like small sections. That's the only thing. I wish this barrel here was like a little bit longer. Like this part that connects, I wish that was a little longer so I could grab thicker pieces. Woo! Oh my gosh! This is so cool! My mom 100% is gonna steal this from me. All right, half of my hair is done. Now, okay, I think near the end of that, I was starting to get the hang of it. So it's a quick learn on this tool. So I have a slight concern about how long the motor would last. If there was any warranty I was able to buy on this, I think that that would be worth purchasing just because I'm like, imagine, you know, six months down the line, you go to use the motor and it's not working. But as a carpal tunnel girly, to have a machine doing the twisting for me definitely gives my wrists a bit of a break. I think if you already have a curling iron, you don't like need to rush out and get this one. But if you're looking to purchase one, this could be a cute option. There's also quite a few like motorized curling irons on the market newly. And I feel like this one's the one that scares me the least. <laughs> Okay. Press the button, start the suction, aim at the lips, three different shifts according to your preferences. Press the button, turn off, release. Okay, so what do we wanna do? I think I'll just do option one because I don't want my lips to fly off. Mmm, mm mm. Mmm, mm. Oh my God, ow. Like, I don't think this is safe. I'm immediately sweaty. I'm actually worried it's gonna like pop some blood vessels in my lips. I'm gonna try and do it for 20 seconds. So here's my lips. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Ow, it's just not worth it. Like if you have little lips, if you have big lips, like I don't wanna be this person. Actually, I do wanna be this person. Your lips look great. You don't need this. Oh my gosh, ow. <gasps> my lips look great though. <laughs> it's so awful. Okay, but my lips, like if we wanna know if it works, it like takes all of the like lip from the inside and like sucks it out so that your inside lip is now your outside lip. I'm gonna see what the third one is. I like was like prepared to try all the settings. My hands are sweaty, knees weak, arms spaghetti. Like literally, I don't wanna do this anymore. That is awful. That is awful. That is not good for you. Don't buy this. Literally, don't buy this. I'm gonna get my mom to try it. I have a surprise for you. <gasps> Your lips. You puffed them up or something. First of all, can I just say that you look stunning today? <laughs> Thank you. Is <laughs> you're gonna wanna take your mouth, put it on here, and click the button oh and go gosh. for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. Is this gonna hurt? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. It hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was on low. That was on low. <gasps> like a bruise. You hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt a lot. Oh, there's drool in it. Ew, I was no. like you. <laughs> oh, go, go clean it. <laughs> yeah, no, this, this, my review on this is don't. Don't do this. And they're gonna be like, why are your lips bruised? And I'm gonna be, Oh, I was using terrible. a plumping Everyone's thing. gonna think we got lip injections. <laughs>
Next, I feel like everybody and their like dog knows about this Dior lip gloss. It's so insanely popular. This has 2.2 million views, but there was so many like see after two years of it being out of stock. I don't know who was the first person to let everyone know these glow oils were lit, but Dior lip oil, here it is. Ta-da! I got the pink one. On my newly plumped lips, which by the way are still plumped, look how big this applicator is. Oh my, changed my life. Ooh, I like it. This has absolutely no color though. It's just gloss. It actually feels like a thick gloss, but I definitely can feel the oiliness in it. Oh yeah. Dior did do something special with this. This is actually very, very cool. I like it. Okay, next item. This is like a glitter hair thing. Look how fun. I'm going to a festival and I'm stamping gems into my hair. I have so many in already, but I just want to show you. Got this on Amazon. So it is basically a hair bedazzler. And as seen by the packaging, I think it's actually more driven towards kids, but us adults want in the game. Oh my goodness, all the different colored refills. Fun, look at that. We've got like some pink ones, some blue, some purple, some silver. Ooh, very fun skis. Then we're gonna go like this. And I think my hair goes on this side. Did it do it? Oh, <gasps> shut up! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <gasps> it's so easy to use. Oh no, this is my new favorite thing. Oh my goodness, so fun, so fun. It literally just sticks little gems in your hair. I'm obsessed. Like just imagine I can't get these out of my hair. Oh yeah. I'm almost to the point where I'm not too concerned what this does to my hair because whatever it is, I think it might be worth it. This is so cute. I think if I brushed my hair, it would come out. Oh yeah, did you just see that? My hair. I don't think they're like in there very well. Yeah, no, did you just see that? But it's also good because it means that they're not like stuck in your hair. They come out super easily. The bling bling tool can definitely stay in my collection. You 100% will see this in some videos up and coming. This is really cool. I love this. We're moving on to these smallest bouquets. They went viral on TikTok, 3.9 million views. We're getting away from the beauty and hair into florals, apparently. It's called The Last Bunch and supporting biodiversity. So basically, I think that these are like dried flowers, so they will last forever. And they're the smallest little bouquet. Isn't that cute? I mean, I love florals and the hardest part about flowers is when they die. So if this will stay alive forever, sign me the heck up. I ordered, honestly, like, I think I might've ordered 12. There was like a bundle deal that you could get 12 and I was just like, yes. <laughs> so here's the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Here's the first one. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at the little vase. There's the other one, very cute. So you can really tell this one's dried. A dork one, that one's really cute. I sense a personal favorite so far. Okay, let's open them all up. Okay, that is all 12 of them. I feel like they look a little bit different than the pictures on the website. Like these ones do look like they've been a little bit like squashed a teeny bit because, well, they were mailed, but I'm sure they'd sort of fluff up. And at the end of the day, it's literal flowers. Like these are dried flowers, so they're all gonna look a little different. They are a little bit pricey, but also this is like a small business and dried flowers and the game of dried flowers, like that's an expertise. Okay, the last thing we're gonna review, 8.3 million views. Now this page gets so many views on everything. Like some are way more viral than that even. So basically they have like a specialty food, like specialty to the highest degree. There's like cinnamon toast crunch spread. You started off your order with an Oreo cookies and cream pudding. 
you got one cinnamon toast crunch spread as well as one twix spread all the way from the uk you got a nesquik cocoa crush cereal all the way from poland and you also got these bnn alpha Horas from argentina super delicious so you see what i mean it's like they take a regular Kit Kat bar and in the flavors that might be really hard to find they have like a full stock of it and that really piqued my interest as well as you know, millions of other people. So I went over to the website and I was looking around and I was getting so overstimulated trying to find what I wanted to buy because there were so many things that I wanted. And then I found a mystery box and I was like, hmm. And I actually thought it was here, but I just went looking for it and it's not here yet. So future Mia will unbox that. All right, it is clearly another day, hence no rainbow under my eyes, but my Willy Wacky Snacks order just arrived. I am so excited to see what's in here. I have no idea what it's gonna be. And I got the biggest mystery box, the most expensive one with the most stuff. I'm so hungry right now too, so this is perfect timing. All right, the first things I'm seeing is these Migos barbecuing with my honey. With the dab of ranch. Oh my gosh. Is it like bad of me to just rip into it and try it? I don't know. It just like, it feels specialty. Like I shouldn't eat it. I should like set it somewhere for display, but like I'm tempted to just try it. It tastes very like classic barbecue chip with a little bit of a twist. Maybe that's the dab of ranch. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Mmm. That is so good. I would say this one is more of a unique flavor. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I don't even know what to how to explain this. Let me try. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff in here. Okay, this is like a Ritz. Oh my gosh, Milka? Milka? Am I saying that right? These chocolate bars are so good. I've had the Oreo one before. Uh, excuse me, what is this? A Kit Kat, but it's a a bread, a bread right here. Is this like a bun flavored Kit Kat? I definitely have had Nesquik strawberry milk like last week. Here we have galaxy counters. This looks like a little chocolate. <gasps> oh my gosh, stop, I'm so excited. I love Skittles. These are Skittles Chewies. Squishy Skittle. Skittles Giants. Flavor of Skittles. I don't know what this one is, but it's got a little like drink here. Okay, Skittle haul. Here we have some Mentos, gummies. Oh, wow, look at this. I actually had this. I've had this before. I actually have had this when I was in Japan. That is so crazy. I like recognize it. Maybe it wasn't this exact one, but it was very similar. Now, I remember when I went to Japan, I went in this one candy shop and it was like, I was so overstimulated. It had every single kind of Kit Kat under the sun. Like I'd never heard of it. I'd never seen it. It was crazy. Tropicana sparkling apple. Oh my gosh, what is this? <gasps> I love Mars bars. What is this? What is this? And the last item is this bubblegum pop. I really want to try these Skittle Chewies. They have no shell. They're naked. Look how cute they look. Sometimes with mystery boxes, it feels like they're just putting in the overstock that like won't sell. This is not the case. Like I honestly feel like these include some of the best sellers. Like Come on. If you guys would like to see me try every single thing, obviously not the ones I'm allergic to, I can do like a live or put it up on my second channel. So let me know. I'll save that for another video, but this is everything we got. I tried a few things. They were really good. And this is totally worth the money and I am obsessed and I will be a frequent shopper. All right, well, TikTok as usual gave us quite the makeover and quite the fun items. Quite the makeover, quite the fun items. What am I saying? TikTok literally has a constant cycle of things going viral and things becoming popular. It's almost like an endless amount of things. So if you wanna keep seeing my take on some of these viral items, make sure to let me know down below if there are any I haven't seen and make sure to tag me over on TikTok because I am on TikTok now, so go ahead and tag me. And make sure to let me know which item was your favorite. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!